Thousands of young people, many of them from disadvantaged families, are leaving primary school every year unable to read well. Yeah, and we want to help tackle this all of this week. We've been calling for parents to read to their children, if they can, for 10 minutes every day. Lots of you have been getting involved. Got it. Excuse me, lots of you have been getting involved. I could do with some help reading. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look. All this week, Good Morning Britain is asking you to take 10 minutes to read to your child. Hi, we support Good Morning Britain's Just Reading campaign and Sam really enjoys his bedtime stories. I think children our age should read more. I love stories. In the morning before I go to school, I love to read with my dad. That's right, and we encourage you to do the same. And we read every day to our mum and dad because it takes us on adventures. Mummy reads to me every night. My favourite story is of alien love and the past. Love Aliens, Love Underpants. Brilliant, brilliant stories. Brilliant. We're joined now by Tim, who learned to read after becoming a dad so that he could read to his daughter, Brogan. Very good morning to you. Good morning. So, Tim, you left school. How would you, when you did, how would you assess your reading ability? I was literate. I could read to a degree, but I didn't read very often. I didn't read for pleasure and I didn't enjoy reading at all. Mm -hmm. I didn't have an extensive vocabulary. So, I, I, I read enough to get by. Mm -hmm but not significantly, you know, a well-extended vocabulary. So or... why did you decide you wanted to turn that around and improve your skills? Uh, Brogan was the main catalyst for me going back into, into education, becoming more academic. Um, I felt as a father I couldn't tell my child to, you know, grow up, you know, get an education, you know, learn, work hard if I didn't make that transition myself. So that was the main reason for me going back down that route, really. And does it make a difference, Brogan, that your dad read to you when you were little? And, and how does it make you feel that he actually, you know, learnt to read better so that he could share stories with you? I, I think, like, I think I'm really special to him because he kind of, like, turned his life around just to read to me and just to, get, like, tell me to get my education straight mm. and to actually help me in the future, so I, I think I'm mm. kind of special. <laughs> you are. You are really, truly special. You inspired your dad to want to read. Absolutely. What was it like growing up and having your dad reading to you, and how much did you enjoy it? I loved it. Yeah. Mm. I'd what? always ask them. That's <laughs> a favourite book, Cindy. Yeah. I what were your favourites? Cinder the Bubble Blowing Dragon was my ultimate favourite. When What's I was it young. called? Cinder the Bubble Blowing Dragon. The Bubble Blowing <laughs> Dragon. And of course, when they're that age, uh, Tim, they want the same book over and over again. They'll Absolutely. go and get it and they'll give it back to you. We must have read some of those books multiple times, there was but we've one enjoyed book it. That we always used to read. <laughs> Is that the one that you read over and over? There was what, another one. Vampire I think it was a it? vampire one. <laughs> and he bit the dentist because he didn't want to go to the dentist. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> lots, lots of people I know would love to bite the dentist. They don't want to go to the dentist. Now, the interesting thing, Tim, is that the school that you never went to as a child because you hated it, you are now a teaching yeah, yeah, assistant. I'm now a teaching assistant at that school. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I couldn't stand the whole concept of school. Um, I, make, I make, no, um, make no bones about it. I had, I, I had opportunities to learn as a child. I just never, I just never took them. Mm -hmm. Um, so now, the school that I really didn't like to go to at all, I know work in and I can't get enough of, to be honest. And, and when children say to you, as I'm sure some of them do, don't like books, really boring, find yeah. it a bit tricky, how do you encourage them? Well, we try and encourage it by making it more engaging. We've got various strategies that we employ throughout, you know, Trebuff Junior School that allow us to, like, you know, work with um, guided reading sessions, which is where we might take a small group of children and really help them pick apart a text, you know, inference so they can understand, they can pick what they feel about the text, yeah. you know, make opinions about the text. Instead of just giving them a book to read, any old book, make it engaging. We're mm -hmm. trying to do uh, different strategies right now, which, which will allow children to progress. And, you know, we run intervention groups, which is where a child, if, you, if they're not reading at their expected level, we can take small groups off. Yeah, and, trouble and we can actually yeah. then move them forward with, uh, with smaller groups. So mm. we've, and we change this every year. We look at different strategies all the time, yeah. so. And Brogan, um, what are you reading at the moment and what would you recommend? I would definitely recommend Hank Zipser. Oh, my Sam loves Hank Zipser. Yeah. The Henry Winkler books. Is that the books, Henry the Winkler books? Yeah. Books. And he came and visited our school. We were very, very Did he really? Oh, yeah. so, the world's yeah. greatest underachiever. Absolutely. Did you meet him as well? Sam started trying to do his hair like Hank Zipser now. <laughs> That's the age we're at in our house. Thank you so much for coming in. Have and you read um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid? 
I think I've read a bit of one. Oh, not well, and you might be interested in this then. It's lovely to see you. <laughs> to help you get uh, reading at home, we are giving away one of the most popular children's books in the world. It's book one from the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. We have more than 10,000 copies up for grabs. Yeah, if you'd like to get hold of a copy, just head to our website and you'll find the list of the 200 libraries that are taking part. The giveaway will take place uh, this Saturday, the 13th of September. Stocks are limited though, so books will only be given out on a first come first served basis. If you're under 18, please take an adult with you. All the details are on the website itv.com forward slash good morning Britain. Tim Brogan, thank you so much thank for coming you. and sharing thank your you experiences. It's lovely. And hopefully you'll have inspired lots of people as well, Tim, I hope this morning. So. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you.